we are going to differentiate the inverse hyperbolic tangent x. But then we don't know too much about this. However, from my previous video, I have shown you how we can change this in terms of ln functions. And we'll do that. So you have to watch my previous video. And we will know that this is the same as asking you to take the derivative of 1 half ln of 1 plus x over 1 minus x. And this and that are the same. Okay, You have to watch my previous video for that. This is something that we know how to handle much better because we did that in Calc 1. But then before you do, go ahead and do derivative. Notice that this is ln of a quotient. We can break them apart by the ln property. We will do that first. So this is the same as asking to take the derivative of 1 half in the front, ln of the first thing, 1 plus x, and then minus the second part of the ln, 1 minus x, like that. But then we have the 1 half all the way in the front, so we technically need a big parenthesis right here. OK? And then if you would like, you can distribute the 1 half real quick. So let's do that, perhaps. So d dx, 1 half into the parentheses, we have 1 half ln 1 plus x minus 1 half ln 1 minus x. And finally, we are ready to go. OK, I'll put down the result right here. We are going to differentiate the first part first. We have the 1 half, that's the number, so we are just going to put that down for now. And what's the derivative of ln of 1 plus x? It's just 1 over, the, one over that, right? So we multiply by 1 over 1 plus x. And you look at the inside, and you have to do the chain rule. But in this case, the derivative of 1 plus x is just 1. So the chain rule doesn't matter, but then I will show you guys that anyways. This 1 is from the derivative of inside because of the chain rule. Anyways, we're going to subtract 1 half, so we bring down minus 1 half. And now what's the derivative of this? The derivative of um, ln of 1 minus x is first of all 1 over that. So 1 over 1 minus x. And now you look at the inside. The chain rule matters because the derivative of 1 is 0. The derivative of negative x is negative 1. So you will have to multiply by negative 1. And now let's look at this, what can we do? This is 1 half, and because they have 1 half, right? So let me factor out 1 half altogether. This is 1 over 1 plus x minus minus, so it becomes plus, and this is 1 over 1 minus x. Can we make this simpler? And yes, we can. Let's get the common denominators, combined fractions. The first fraction, I will need to have 1 minus x, bottom and the top. For the second fraction, I will need to have 1 plus x, bottom, and the top. The 1 half is still all the way in the front. And the inside here, they will have the same denominator, and the denominator is going to be 1 plus x times 1 minus x, which the product will be 1 minus x squared. And then on the top, the first fraction is going to be 1 minus x. And then for the second part, this is positive 1 times 1, which is plus 1, positive 1 times x, which is plus x. Of course, we can simplify this much better. Negative x, positive x cancels. Uh, 1 plus 1 is, of course, equal to 2. But this 2 and that 2 can cancel out. Final answer. The derivative of inverse hyperbolic tangent x is nothing but just everything on top is just 1 over 1 minus x squared. This is it.